Hey guys, it's Danny San here. I'm doing a video response to a, a video made by Jason of the My Argonauts channel. In the video, he's planning on setting up a website to uh, bring in some more revenue. Uh, to give you a quick little backstory, he was in Japan for around five years under the uh, JET program, which is basically a program that allows you to teach and they provide housing and things like that. You can learn more about the uh, the JET program through uh, Jason's channel at uh, youtube.com slash myargonauts. Uh, that's A-R-G-O-N-A-U-T-S. I had to think about that for a sec. Um, but anyway, getting to the topic at hand, um, I wanted to leave him a comment, but uh, making a website is a little more detailed than a simple comment or even a message. So, and besides, I kind of wanted to share with you, my audience, as well as Jason and his audience, on how to make up a website. The best exam best way to show you is to uh, show you mine. Okay, um, I'm using a, a program to develop my uh, website called WordPress. Now, as you can see, it's mostly set up as a blog. I don't know if you can see too many details, but you know, here's some ads which helped me generate some revenue. And uh, there's also some ads up here too. Up here is a link to uh, one to my friend Ariopolis' uh, radio show that's uh, on every Tuesday from 8 to 10 p.m. on 881 WBGSU. Now, since not everybody is in the Bowling Green area, this link allows you to uh, listen to it online. And right here I have two featured feeds, one from uh, dannychu.com and one from Senkaku Complex. I think I'm pronouncing that right. And uh, the reason these are featured feeds is because in exchange for me putting these up here, they put my feed on their website, which helps generate a lot of traffic, especially from uh, Senkaku Complex. I get a really steady stream of traffic from those guys. Uh, every once in a while I get a good stream from Danny Chu, but it's mostly from here. But anyway, as you can see, I don't really have a logo or anything. It's just, you know, the name of the website, in need of a tagline since 1985, the RSS uh, button up here. We'll get into that later. And if you scroll down, here's how many followers I have on Twitter. Here's my last five tweets. Here's also my blog roll, where I put up links to blogs that I read. Here's uh, my top five most popular posts according to rating. Here's my traffic rank according to Alexa. It's pretty low, to be honest. And I set up the archives for my website as well as categories. And here's a, a quick little map of uh, all the visitors from my website for the past month or so. Here's another thing. It's basically just tracking who's on my website right now. Another thing that says how long the andysan.com has been up and how long I've been uh, I've had a website. Here are my uh, seven most recent posts. Speaking of posts, uh, because my posts are so long, I've only limited what you can see on the front page to uh, my uh, first three posts. So that way it kind of keeps the load time down. But I don't know how long your posts are going to be, Jason. If they're going to be longer, then I recommend doing like a three or five on your home page. But if they're going to be shorter, then you can get away with like five or seven. But I wouldn't go beyond ten. Any more than ten and you're just, it's too long. That's just the basic layout. Now, getting to this, it's called an RSS feed. It basically allows you to uh, uh, to subscribe to a blog similar to uh, getting email updates, but this way my inbox isn't completely crowded. So you click on it, and I use a service called FeedBurner, which allows me to uh, figure out how many people are subscri actually subscribing through RSS and through email and things like that. And as you can see, there's different readers. And uh, down here you get to see uh, the feed content, which are my recent posts, and things like that. Now, let's get into the actual uh, nuts and bolts. Yeah, I'm kind of revealing a lot here, but I think it'll be all right. Um, basically, right here is just a quick little rundown of what I'll have. I have 620 posts, wow, four pages, 40 categories, and 2,091 different tags. I have 538 comments, 510 of them have been approved, none are pending, and 26 are in the spam folder. Here are some recent drafts that are just kind of on the back burner right now. And here's recent comments and pingbacks. Um, right here I have my have a uh, rough stats. Um, I mostly use a, a program called Google Analytics, which uh, I'll put all the links to these things on the sidebar. But I also use this too to kind of give me a second opinion of how many visitors I get per day, the posts that they read, uh, the 
search words that they uh, look for me for, and uh, these are also uh, you know most read or most active today. And it just kind of just a bunch of yada yada right around here. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the uh, actual website itself. For the bulk of my uh, earnings, I use uh, a, a, uh, a service called Text Link Ads. I'll, pu I'll put all the links and everything in the sidebar so you can uh, click on them and browse and stuff. But due to uh, Text Link Ads terms of service, I can't really show you the page because it'll reveal my earnings and everything, so I'm not going to be doing that. It's actually not that hard to uh, make up a website. This is just... Uh, what I use for blogging and it's what a lot of people use. WordPress is pretty popular and uh, you can also get different themes and add-ons and doodads and things like that but I found uh, a lot of uh, the themes and stuff like that to be uh, not really useless but just uh, they're useless to me I guess uh, without sugarcoating it or anything. And uh, if you happen to know a little bit of HTML like I do, you can edit the themes, change the colors, and stuff like that. But definitely for a beginner, I don't recommend just making a theme all on your own. You can pick a default theme. You can look around for themes. Some people actually uh, pay for uh, certain themes by WordPress just because they give you like a, a certain advantages over non-paid themes, I guess. But for me, I don't really... I can't really justify uh, buying a theme at this time. Now, later on when I'm starting to make more money, then sure, I might invest in it. But for now, I'm not even going to bother with it. Because I got a, a really nice theme going here. So, um, yeah, there's definitely a lot of uh, different programs out there, different uh, advertising programs out there that can help you bring in money. Like, uh, no most notably, Google AdSense, TextLink Ads, and uh, just... That'd be a whole nother video just to explain them all. But the ones that I would definitely recommend are uh, Google AdSense and uh, TextLink Ads. They have uh, worked the best for me, although I'm not currently using AdSense right now. Yeah, that's kind of a long story. But anyway, um, yeah, I'll put some links in the sidebar for uh, all the programs that I've mentioned, as well as uh, a couple tutorials of uh, some of the programs. There's this one uh, kind of long WordPress tutorial that really goes into more detail than I can explain here. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. Oh, uh, before I go, I have to talk to you about uh, certain uh, host, hosting programs. Basically, what you do would be to register, you would register a domain name, which uh, I don't know if you'd be like www.myargonauts.com. We'll just use that as, as an example. If you'd register that, uh, most places... You can register a domain name for a year for ten bucks. Then there's also a, there's also a, a server fees, which allow them to actually host not only the domain name but any content that you have. The uh, business that I go through for that is a uh, DreamHost, and uh, they're pretty cheap for me for a year. It only co it costs me uh, probably a little under uh, under a hundred bucks a year after everything's all said and done just to have my website up but because it's pulling in a high enough stream of income I could technically have the website pay for itself and I'll still have profit left over at the end of the year right now I'm not pulling in a whole lot of money but it is a uh, definitely a decent second income at this point and it's currently rising and my goal is to have it be my main source of income so that way I don't have to uh, go out find a job or whatever um, yeah, I hope you have found this video informative, Jason, as well as uh, to my other viewers. This is the Andy Song, signing off for now. You guys have an excellent day. See ya.